Guardian. My Scions have intercepted a series of psychic broadcasts. They're coming from a decommissioned Cabal bunker on Mars. The messages are perceptible only to those with psionic abilities. They paint my rule and our coalition as treachery. They openly encourage mutiny and coax the defectors toward the Black Fleet. Commander Zavala and I agree that these recruitment efforts must be stopped. But... I should not be seen using my forces to suppress Scion communications. So you will be the executor of my fury. Go to Mars and eradicate this cowardly rebellion. Keitel's forces are being targeted by psionic propaganda. This could indicate an alliance between the Black Fleet and a group of Scion rebels. I cannot be seen deploying my forces here. Instead, I must rely on my new Vanguard allies. This operation is in both our best interests. Find out who is behind those transmissions. Shut them down. I have a pleasant surprise for you. Something that I'm sure will make an impact. But first, the airspace must be cleared. You heard the Empress. Steal one of those interceptors and take out those flat cannons. Orbital bombardment incoming. Make haste. Whoever's behind this operation is willing to sacrifice their base to destroy the evidence. In my legions, those inside would do it themselves. Heads up, Guardian. I got a 10-time present for you. I hope you're ready to eat, because this baby's hungry for action. I admit, watching the Guardian crush these defectors, it stirs something in me. Fighting against your own people can't be easy. They are not my people. Of all reinforcements are rallying on you. I'll soften them up and you knock them down. We cannot destroy those broadcast transmitters until we lower their shields. Holiday spotted the generators during her flyover on the far side of the battlefield. Eliminate all the Scion spotters to hold the artillery strikes. Slice through their front, Guardian. And leave only wreckage in your wake. Quickly! If the source of the transmission is destroyed, we may never learn who was behind it. Don't worry. The Guardian will make it in time. I never worry, Commander. I only long to see my enemies crushed to a grainy pulp. Guardian, you've reached the origin of the psionic broadcasts. Eliminate these traitors for the honor of the Vanguard and the Empire. These broadcasts are not comprised of words, but images, feelings, and impressions. My optuses will show me their contents through a telepathic link, similar to the Mindscape. I see... the silhouette of a Scion. They stand at the head of a full Cabal Legion. Above them hovers a Black Pyramid. And behind them stands a towering statue of gold. A statue of my father, Callus. His arms outstretched. Hand open. Beckoning. I can hear his voice. It calls to me. Promising refuge. Promising... Salvation. 
and orbital strike have been disabled. You have my gratitude, Guardian. But look, those chests are from the Leviathan. Gifts from Kellis. Is he funding this operation? I'd hoped that my father would live out his days quietly, in exile. But even now, he's an embarrassment to me. And the Cabal. We'll continue ops in this location to learn more. Meanwhile... The Vanguard will locate the Leviathan and your father. When you do, I'll see to him myself. Kallus' forces have rebuilt their base more quickly than we anticipated. My father provided the resources for reconstruction, but a scion created the broadcasts. We need to know who's behind this up. After what happened with Osiris, the Vanguard is prioritizing matters of psychic warfare. We can't rely on help from Techians and Splices forever. It must be difficult for you to see Cabal Kevins turned against their makers. Cabal are not sentimental about such things. In war, everything is expendable. Eyes up, gun. We've just intercepted a call for orbital bombardment on your location. Callus spent many resources rebuilding here. But he would sacrifice it all to keep his collaborators secret. Title and I don't see eye to eye much, but she thought you could use some more firepower. And for once, I agree. The Black Fleet already has the advantage. We're playing catch up. If they can convince my scions to defect en masse, their ability to wage psychic war will be unmatched. Callus has the nerve to stick his fat fingers in our business again. Let's run these jokers out of town. My father poured many lives and resources into reconstructing these transmitters. All to undermine my rule. His commitment to this installation moves me. The alliance between Callus and our mystery saga is stronger than I suspected. Very like the Cabal to have massive cannons disabled by the loss of a few cellulars. It's also like us to rebuild an entire base without the Vanguard noticing. Where are these troops coming from? Are they all defectors? Some, not all. If the Leviathan has been reinforced, then my father's cloning operation could account for their numbers. So these are Callus' followers. Betrayers and propagandists for the Black Fleet. Take them out, Gun. Unmask their commander. This latest message depicts a scene of violence. I see myself. It's the failed attempt on Commander Zavala's life. Through the Assassin's eyes, the memory of his death. He rushes at Commander Zavala, and I feel his surprise when your crow steps in his way. He is helpless as I lift him up. Oh, how he fears me. 
I throw him down. His spine snaps. His organs rupture. Panic and confusion as his life drains away. The last thing he sees is Commander Zavala and me. Standing above him. Together. Only one Scion left alive would have such intimate knowledge of this. The traitor Yerix. <laughs> Excellent work, Guardian. Your operation gave us a glimpse of our true enemy. The latest broadcast betrays its source. This is the work of the rebel Yerix and her enclave. They were behind the attempted assassination of Commander Zavala. She also possesses light-dampening technology, based on intelligence stolen from your weapon foundries. If that's the case, then her alliance with Kellis and the Black Fleet was inevitable. Our enemies have started a psychic arms race, and the Vanguard is struggling to keep up. Psionic propaganda continues to erode my legions, despite our operations. Now Yurix leads a powerful group of Scions against us, with Callus and the Black Fleet at their backs. We may not be able to strike at her or your father. Yet. But we can limit their influence, kill their transmission, and their collaborators. The amount of material flooding into this location is staggering. It can't all be Red Legion surplus. Correct. The Rebels must control a production outpost in a nearby system. They've targeted a base with another bombardment, Guardian. Such is the heroism of the Cabal. Heroism doesn't guarantee victory. No. It guarantees a good death. Clear the LZ, Guardian. Got a new toy for you. Courtesy of Empress Keitel. Have to admit, she's got style. Yurix and her rebels are not to be underestimated. The clairvoyance is matched only by the Vex. Future Sight is a treacherous weapon. Our future war cult learned that the hard way. With respect, Commander Zavala, Scions do not make such blunders. So these rebels are the same ones that tried to kill Zavala? It's time for some payback. The Zion rebels may be second, but their transmitters can still be destroyed. Here it spreads a message of psionic solidarity, using my father's resources. On Earth, they call that irony. Unleash that much ordnance to stop just one fire team. The Cabal express admiration through megatonnage. Consider it a compliment. You said Yurix was behind the attempt on my life. But why? Yurix is motivated by the notion of a unified Scion nation, free to develop their full potential. She believes the players nearly accomplished that with the Sundial, until you killed them. These Scions are traitors and servants to the Rebel Yerix. Eliminate all resistance and secure that broadcast console. This message shows some sort of Scion ritual. Oh. A religious ceremony. It's in the far past. So distant, before their assimilation into the Cabal. The feeling is difficult to describe, but I know it well. Something like militant nostalgia. The ritual leader, an elder, is speaking about 
how the spark of divinity exists in all of us. How we are unified beyond death. An eternal chorus. It's... peaceful. And utter nonsense. Those beliefs were brutally subjugated by the Scions themselves long before we conquered them. Yerix clearly wishes to stir a sense of forgotten Scionic unity under the banners of Callus and the Black Fleet. Well done. With each operation, our enemy's intentions become clearer. Well, that's exactly what worries me. Savathun already infiltrated the last city using psychic manipulation. But now, the Black Fleet has added Callus and Scion rebels to its ranks. Such things make our coalition more valuable by the day. Sharpen your mind as I sharpen my blade. When the time comes, we'll cut my father to ribbons. Together. Guardian, Yerix continues to broadcast psychic messages across the system. Unrest among my scions is high, and defections are increasing. We've knocked this operation down several times, but Callus seems willing to rebuild. If his cloning enterprise is operational again, the loss of life will be no deterrent until that life is his own. My father was never known for his strength of commitment, yet this operation has his full devotion. Whatever happened aboard the Glycon must have changed him. And not for the better. Orbital bombardment incoming, Guardian. The clock is running. Good job clearing the air, Guardian. Got a present for you. She weighs more than my bird. Roll right over him and don't look back. My father and I are estranged, but he would not create such a sophisticated operation out of spite alone. Whatever will my father now serves motivates him beyond his usual pettiness. It's good to be back in the fight, Guardian. I miss being your eye in the sky. Give him hell! Scion spotters are brave to risk their lives targeting the artillery. They're foolish for taking to the field against us. This space represents a battle for the minds of my legions. It cannot be allowed to corrupt them. The Blackfeet offers power and unity. That will always be attractive to those who are destined. Empress, you saw what the darkness did to those aboard the Blackon. My father was corrupted by pride long before he communed with the voice in the darkness. He could not be more disgraceful now than he was as Emperor. These are the emissaries of Yerix, Callus, and the Black Fleet. Destroy them. This latest transmission from Yurix shows the same images over and over, flashing almost too quickly to perceive. They are indistinct, as if multiple pictures were laid atop one another, variations on a theme. Ah, these must be psionic divinations, impressions of things yet to come. I never dreamed I would see them for myself. I... I see... a city... besieged. The ship stealer revived. The Leviathan reborn. Your traveler... infected by darkness. These are the futures our enemies seek. We must remain united if we are to forge a different path.
hard-fought Guardian. We've stopped Yerkes' recruitment campaign and gained valuable intel on the Black Fleet's tactics. They will try to use our families against us. First it was the warlock Osiris, and now Callus. But if they thought that wearing my father's face would blunt my fury, they are mistaken.